guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm so excited because we will be cleaning so in this video I will be sharing with you guys 10 very easy very simple and quick ways to declutter and spring clean your home I know with everything going on right now a lot of us are at home and we have more time and I thought this video would be perfect to create um, so that way you can kind of get caught up on things and spring clean some things and just kind of declutter around your house. But I wanted to specifically share some really uh, quick and easy ways, not like a massive declutter, but like some projects you can tackle little by little and slowly. So that way it's not like super overwhelming. So I'm really excited about this because this gives me the excuse to organize. So we're gonna be doing this together today. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. So the first very quick and easy way to declutter items in your home is this black hole we call a purse. I think that we can all agree that once we put something in our purse, there's a very high chance it may never come out. I know a lot of us throw a lot of random stuff in our purse thinking that like, okay, I'm gonna get to it, I'll take this out when I get home, but realistically, most of us probably don't do that. If you do, then thumbs up to you, girl, but I think for the most part, at least for me, whenever something goes in here, there is a very high chance that it's not going to come out. So I think it's good to probably do this at least once a month. Just go through your purse and just take out things that you really don't need in there, like old receipts, wrappers, um, somehow just like stuff just appears in there. It's literally like a treasure chest in here. Sometimes you don't know what you'll find in this black hole of a purse. I literally have socks in my purse. That's disgusting. Just take a quick 15 minutes, go through your bag, and um, get, just get rid of stuff you really don't need in here. Next one is your wallet. Yes, so I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, every time I have gift cards and I use up the gift card, a lot of the times I hold on to the gift card because I have this like weird attachment towards it that like what if there's still money left in there but clearly there isn't. So um, I ha have a huge collection in my wallet of just like so many cards that are zeroed out that I keep keeping in there. But um, if you have the same issue as I do, so just take a quick 10 minutes and just go through your wallet and just declutter things that don't need to be in there. Third one is your shoes. So I know we all must have at least one pair that we can just toss and get rid of, especially the shoes that are more fabric like these. And they tend to get holes in them after some use, like this one. Why am I hanging on to these? I don't know. But if you have any shoes like that, just get rid of it. Um, and then you'll make more room for new shoes, just kind of update everything. So go through your shoes, just even take out shoes you probably don't even wear anymore. But just take a quick 10 to 15 minutes, go through your shoes. I'm sure we all have a pair we can get rid of. Um, either donate them or if they're at the point of no return, just toss them. Next one is your nightstand. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but eventually, our nightstand just gets cluttered with so many things, especially in the drawers. We put receipts or little random papers. Take like 15, 20 minutes, go through your nightstand, reorganize, take out things that don't need to be in there and put things in there that um, you do want to keep in there. So uh, it's just a really quick and easy project to do, 10, 15 minutes and then you'll be done. It'll be much more organized, more neat and tidy and you'll be much happier with that as well. So the next one, number five, is probably the most annoying one to do, but Everybody has to do it because it just piles up. I've been kind of hinting at this entire video so far, but it is to go through your receipts. I don't have the most efficient way of storing receipts. To be completely honest, I need to get I need to get on uh, being more organized and efficient about it. I keep them all in just this little bag here and just go through them whenever um, receipts just I don't need them anymore. So um, again, this is probably more of like a 30 minute project. It's a little bit more tedious. You have to actually look at the dates and see if you need those receipts anymore. Again, 30 minutes, just go through your receipts and just clear out all the ones that you don't need anymore. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, please click the subscribe button. It takes literally like a second, helps out my channel a lot. Give the video a like as well. I'll give you a second to do so here while I finish my coffee here. Okay, the next one is expired makeup. And yes, if you did not know, makeup does have an expiration date, which is really sad. This kind of annoying thing, all of the makeup that I've been looking through, it doesn't say it's the expiration date in the back. Um, it should, per what you know other people say, but I, on, I honestly don't see it anywhere in any of the makeup that I have. So usually makeup expires about a year after opening. Um, so 
I know we can collect makeup for years and it's really sad throwing it away like a really nice palette but um, you may think well it's not like food you know where you put it inside your body and you know you could get like food poisoning yes but you do put this on your skin and it's so bad to put um, expired products or makeup or whatever on your skin because um, it's going directly on your skin it's not healthy so um, just nip it in the butt just get rid of the makeup that um, you haven't used in a long time if you know it's been sitting there for at least a year or so a couple of years um, then just get rid of it plus this will give you some more space um, to store your makeup and maybe buy some new things that you know you'll use up within that time so the next one is your dresser so I know I'm not the only one when I first got my dresser and filled it with clothes it was so neat it was so tidy everything had its own little corner and little had little dividers and everything but eventually after time it develops into a big mountain of clothes so take about 30 minutes go through your dresser my um, tip is just to take everything out of the drawers one drawer at a time though <laughs> uh, and then just go through it I'm sure there's some clothes in there that you don't wear anymore that you can get rid of and just donate um, so just do that reorganize it get it all nice neat and tidy and try your best to keep it that way um, because I mean I'm sure you all can agree that after a while if you don't put things back exactly how they were it just becomes a big pile of a mess so just take about 30 minutes and go through it and it'll be much better and cleaner all right ladies so number eight is socks with holes in them so I know we all must have at least a pair or a couple pairs of socks with holes in them uh, but just go through your sock drawer get rid of them throw them away because we don't need socks with holes in them and you may think well they're kind of hidden they're in our shoes but still but socks do get worn out after some time and this is an item that you do have to replace every so often It'll probably take about 15 minutes go through all your socks see if there's any of them with holes in them or some that just look really worn out and you just need to toss them do that and then if you then you'll see if you need some new socks update the socks and I don't know about you guys but I love the feeling of getting new socks because they always look so nice all right number nine is the sauces in your fridge I know we all have them I know we have bottles that have been sitting there way past the expiration dates <laughs> about 10-15 minutes pull all your sauces out of the fridge look at all the dates toss the ones that are expired or the ones you know you're not going to use anymore and also as a little extra thing to do wipe down those areas because I know some of us are messy including me I'm very messy um, <laughs> so wipe down the area and just make sure it's all nice and neat and tidy in your fridge and that should take about 10 minutes just go through it and then it'll be more cleaner more nice and more aesthetically pleasing as well. okay and our last one is the spice cabinet so the spice cabinet can be very very messy because once you put spices in and out I mean you have like little salt pieces fall out or any like um, other spices it just eventually gets really messy go ahead and just pull out all your spices and go through them and just make sure none of them are like stale or old because that does happen with spices they can get very stale and old and rock hard I've had some of those and I had to toss them but go through them and one of the things I really like are these special white bins I got from Ikea so I store my most used spices in these containers so when it's in my cabinet it's very organized and whenever I'm like making soup or like a casserole special dish all I do is I just pull this entire thing out set it on my counter use all the spices put it right back back in the ca uh, back in the cabinet and it's always nice always neat and tidy so I'll see if I can link these specific ones um, in the description box down below I got them from Ikea I highly recommend them I also have a few of these in my pantry as well They're a really good item to have to store all your spices anything in your pantry they come in uh, larger sizes as well and, and I think some smaller ones too um, so I'll link these if I can in the description box down below okay that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new here my name is Ilana I do weekly videos about fashion and lifestyle I'd love to have you back and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye